report by the U.S. Sentencing Commission shows that over the last five years, African-American men have been getting longer prison sentences than white men. And that same report says men getting longer sentences uh, are getting them longer rather than women. While it does not address why judges hand out the longer sentences, Attorney General Eric Holder said last week the numbers disturb him. Speaking in New York, Holder said it's time to ask fundamental questions about our nation's criminal justice system. So tonight, the Face Off guys address their own question about who should really oh, yeah. address this issue. Uh, I'm just trying to be great. I'm a young man with a lot on my plate. I'm just trying to stay real in a world full of fakes. Trying to make it out, giving all that it takes. What if I never went got that diploma? Would you really still be proud of me, mama? I wonder. What if I went to the trap selling back? Giving my all to the streets and I never came back. What if I didn't have a job and all I did was still and rob and breaking people's cars? Getting put behind bars and only in the hood they consider me a star. I wonder. If I never made it past 25, who gon' raise my kids if I'm not alive? Who have a star when it's time to provide? If I never went to Arizona, Arizona, Arizona. would I be this high? What, a, what, a, what if everybody wanted you to lose, but they say you cannot? Nah. I could have went nah. the other way. My choices gave me the win and play. Switch. That's why I adapted to be different. Yeah. I didn't want to be a statistic. Yeah. Many in this country are angry with the Attorney General Eric Holder for standing up at a convention and telling the truth. He said that there's a problem in America with his criminal justice system when statistics show from the Department of Justice that black men who commit the same crimes as white men get sentenced to prison longer than white men do. But that's not a surprise to any of us. We've always known in this country that racism has been dealt to black men and black people and people of color in the criminal justice system. What if I was out late night trapping? trapping. In the table turn, driving home and I crash the burn. Tell me, God, is that what I earn? What if I didn't go to college? And I was talking to Rocket, cause the fans are watching. Would you tell me to stop it? And give me another option. Would my mother be ashamed of me? Every day she would be blaming me. Reflections of a guy she used to see. Now she praying for me heavenly. The devil do not get the best of me. And how I'm affecting the pedigree. I'm just trying to get the cheddar feet. I'm a living legend, the Rosetta Key. What if? I never came back just to be a coach. Be a coach. They go gossip either way you go. Way you go. I'm black and I'm proud, I'ma let, I'ma let them know. What if I couldn't reach you through a flow? It started robbing, trying to kick and doze. I'm proud of my blessing and that's for sure. How much I'm thankful you don't even know. Look, Matt, see what you all want. What you all want is some pacified, sissified, homogenized, overfried Negro leader to say what you all want to say about the subject matter so you all are not threatened. At the end of the day, black leaders should stand up, Hispanic leaders and white leaders who, who believe in God and the truth. Let me tell you something. And tell America this is wrong. You don't you don't me. sentence black I don't longer listen to because you they're because strictly black. At me. You can threat me all you want, threat you. you. And it's not gonna make me threat you. you. Let me tell you, you something. Threat white me. men, white men are being sentenced less than black men. Those are the facts. Let's do something about it. Okay. About them okay. Then get something to stand up that I can listen to other than Eric Holder, Kim Kardashian, and Little Wayne. We are not going to allow you conservative Tea Party members to tell our community who should speak for our community. At the end of the day, everybody should speak the facts. And the facts is there's racism in the criminal justice system and black men are being sentenced disproportionately than white men. Something must change that, whether you like it or not.